everybody. Dr. Rick here. We're going to do a review on actually the Graco 2 Coat Plus 2 uh, electric airless sprayer, the little portable here. Um, you know, it's the first time I've actually used it. As, as you can see here, I actually have a Titan 440 sprayer. It's been pretty cool it's sprayer too, but sometimes the mess of Clean it up just as too much work for what little bit we do it. So what we just did here is we painted uh, my office here, um, the ceiling. We just used the flat paint with the um, Bayer Premium Interior Ceiling Flat. So I want to see how well this worked. This is, uh, I think it's the second from the top of the line they have. Um, I've used a lot of Wagner's just to paint bridges, factories, all this other stuff in my younger days. Um, so anyhow. Uh, I'll tell you right now what I do and don't like about it. One is I don't like the volume uh, compared to just putting in the uh, traditional airless, but it is convenient, a lot faster cleanup. You don't have to waste a lot of paint just to fill up the lines. So that's kind of a good thing. Two, uh, I wish it had more power. It does a good job, but it don't have the power I really wanted it to have. One thing it does do too is it gets real heavy. So basically, what happens is, you know, your arm gets a lot of fatigue, especially if you're not doing this every day. But it did do a nice job. Probably one of the better airlesses I've had used that's a portable like this. Um, the other thing is, it is easy to prime. You actually, to prime it, you just pull this lever, and you pump it for about 5-10 seconds, let it go, and it's ready to go. It does have the traditional clean-out tip, unlike the Wagoners in the past. Um, you know, this is for the pressure. I didn't notice a significant difference between pressures as I went up. I still got slight um, airless fingers on the um, ceiling when I was doing it. But the ceiling for the small office, which you'll walk through in a second here, only took me a few minutes. So go ahead and um, let's go inside and we'll check it out. Hey guys, so um, this is the work that we actually did on the True Cup. Coat Plus 2 from Craco. If you spin around, you can see we didn't do no taping off. We're going to paint this, the um, walls later, but it's pretty nice. We did take the ring off the light here, um, which took us, you know, about two, three minutes. We wrapped plastic around it. So this whole room to spray with this took me about um, 10 minutes. We had to fill the cup twice. Um, so I wish it had a bigger cup. I did actually, they do have an accessory pack that will hold a gallon. But I tell you what, one of the hard parts with this is actually holding this heavy machine up the whole time. Um, would I encourage buying it? Yeah, I think it would be actually great for doing something like the doors, putting up on saw or stuff without having to dirty a lot of stuff. Um, if you don't have a lot of overhead work. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm happy with it. Um, I'd rather save it for trims, stuff like that. But it was a good test here and it would have taken us a lot longer to cut in and roll out this room. So we'll try the walls a little later, maybe with this, maybe not. We're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna use the Titan 440 that we had for a while and we'll um, do a little review on that too as well. So anyhow, we bought ours off Amazon, got a great deal on it, so I'm really happy with it. But I do wish it did have a little more pressure. Um, I wish the tip here, the nozzle, actually is not universal to, um, standard airless models so as you can see it has a thicker thread and a screen inside so basically you are stuck using um, genuine Craco parts for this not compared to their other not the same as their other um, airlesses which is more universal so that did make it a little worse because I would have loved to put my little extension on here but you have to buy the extension that they make for these models. Um, but anyhow, they do make it in a cordless model. I didn't want to actually be carrying a battery around. I think when I compared the weights on them, it was more than I wanted to deal with. So I didn't mind a cord. I'm pretty used to it anyways with the regular airless, you know, dragging, dragging the holes around. What I don't like about the regular airless is just the volume of paint that has to be going for small projects like this. So, okay guys, until um, next time, any questions, just let us know. We'll try to get an answer for you. Thanks. Guys, the last stuff we got to do to figure out in this review here of the True Coat Plus 2 by Craig Goat is clean it. So, pretty much we're going to cut 
um, take off the old um, bucket you know let this drip in here for a few minutes here we're gonna sit there and then rinse this I should have used my liners I didn't want to see how hard everything was to come clean so I'm just using some warm water here This drips and twist it so I don't. Okay, so the cup cleaned pretty good. I used a little brush here. That was nice. Put it up here to dry for a few seconds. I don't like how filthy this is here, but it's a little bit kind of rinsed off. And you can pull the tip off here, you see this here? So we just pull that off. Let that sit in the water for a few seconds. And right now I'm trying to keep the uh, water away from the motor. So. Fill this up with warm water. I'm actually shaking this up inside here. I'm actually shaking this up in here so we can save some of the hassle for a minute. Got a little bit of paint stuck inside here, so I don't like that too much. But it seems to come better if I pump it. Actually, it took it out pretty good by pumping it. <laughs> okay. I'll throw nice, good, clean water. Put the pickup back on. And of course, you can put the pickup either side and it's usually better this side because you're spraying like this it's coming down so but you can put it in different direction screw this back on make sure all this gets brushed good Try to keep my stuff looking as new as it can for as long as it can. Okay, we're going to plug it back in. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, we have to prime it first. So one of the first things we're going to do is open the valve here and prime it. So I'm just rinsing some paint off here to make it keep it looking nice and shiny. Okay, so now I shut the priming valve and we're just going to spray it. You can see it's 
see it here. Make sure the filter's all clean. So you can still see there's a little residue in here. So we're going to make sure we get it all nice and clean. Like I said, this is a proprietor um, tip here, so I don't enjoy that part. So it even makes it hard to change a tip. So I'd have to review that a little bit more. A little bit of paint still stuck in there. The guard's so tall it makes it hard to get in there. We got it now. So turn this here. I'll we'll set that down here to dry. Rinse it out a little bit. Back up on here. So if you're right handed, you usually get this facing this way. It don't really matter too much. But that way, if you have to do a clean out, you can hand it. Okay, so clean this up a little bit the way it stays looking nice and neat it does have a belt hook I didn't use it I felt that um just found a nice smooth spot to set it been carrying this big heavy thing on my belt One thing the instructions did talk about was actually a trigger locking. So when you're not using it to um, lock the trigger so it can't accidentally go off. So I'm working on some bad habits from through the years that don't really do that. So anyways, one last thing is make sure you clean this out one last time. fresh water through it. In the past I haven't done that with my regular airlesses and what ends up happening is I end up getting um find it. Nice and clean still. What happens in the past is when I didn't do it in my airless one last time, there would be some residue left over. So I pull this out, this can dry off. <coughs> the 
unit also comes with this pump armor, and it says you actually should use it whenever you um, extended sit in or not going to use it for a while. So, pretty much the way to do this. Put this nozzle on it here, and then you do it to the vent of the pickup. So you push down, come on to this side, and so it came up. So that's all it describes it as. Hold that, please, for me. And it does talk about putting this back here. Put it back in the bucket. I'll rinse it off first. So in here, when I actually received the item, it actually had the pump armor blue stuff all over the inside of the cup. So, uh, that. so that's it. I assume we're done. I don't know if I could use this too much. It looks like that pump armor will last a long time. Anyways, feel free to leave your question reviews. It also came with the cap. In case you actually didn't want to take, you just want to clean up the unit and save the paint for a couple days. You know, like still working on it. Came with some cup liners and a strap here and a DVD um, with operational stuff. So, anyways, that's what you get in the box. And if you have any questions, let us know. We also made and painted this doghouse, and it worked real well for something like that.